Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another new combo for the March 31st, 2017 format using Zodiac Beasts. Now, again, in the previous video I showed you a one-card Terra Top play that yielded you into a Fusion Substitute play that yielded you a plus three overall with a Dryden and an Emerald and two drawn cards. But what if you don't draw Terra Top? What if you don't draw Barrage? What if literally your only starting play is to normal summon your one card Rat Pierre? Like the standard play of the previous format, summoning one Rat Pierre still yielded you a good fusion substitute play uh, in the form of being able to still do double Emerald and get like a draw three essentially. What can you still do off of one Rat Pierre? Uh, is the main thing that I'm going to be addressing in this video. And you do have access to a good amount of resource gathering. You are unfortunately not going to be able to end with a Dryden, uh, but you are still going to be able to go plus two very easily and effectively because of the fact that Fusion Substitute is going to yield you a plus one, and then Emerald is going to yield you a plus one as well while also resetting your resource pool. Uh, so anyway, one copy of Rat that you are forced to Normal Summon is still going to gain you a good bit of resources. Like I said, unfortunately though, unless you have outlying factors like Barrage, you are not going to be able to summon a Dryden. But so... For your play, you're going to normal summon your rap here, and you're going to send combo to grave or do whatever you want to do in that regard. But you're then you're just going to overlay it into your Borbo, detach your rap here to summon the second copy of rap here from your deck. And now from here, you're going to overlay your Broad Bull and detach the second rap here from that Broad Bull to add your Lunalite Black Sheep to hand. Then you will discard that Black Sheep, adding Fusion Substitute. And so from here, you'll just Fusion Substitute. It's very simple. It's very easy to understand. I have no idea how people don't think this combo like is actually like viable in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but you will fuse in, fusion into your uh, Norden, and then you will bring back your uh, Rat Pierre, or whatever four would just happen to be in your graveyard. And then you will overlay these two cards for your Digesto Emerald, detaching your Norden, because at this point you do have all of these exceeds in your graveyard and all this stuff, so you're able to, you're definitely able to fulfill Emerald's activation requirement of needing three first. And so you'll just shuffle back your two exceeds and the one copy of Rat Pierre into your deck, and you will draw a random card. And then from there, your Fusion Substitute will be live to banish it, put your Norden back into your extra deck, and then draw another random card. So, off of your one rep here summon, you don't end with any Zoo cards in Grave. Literally, the only card in your graveyard is the Black Sheep. Uh, but like so, like if you sent combination like Zodiac combo to your grave, then you're going to be uh, you're going to be like waiting a little bit for that to be live potentially. And like I said, you do not end with a Zodiac Dryden unless you have outlying like factors going into it, like Barrage and stuff like that. Or if you play like Brilliant Fusion, if you play Instant Fusion, stuff like that, you're not really going to be ending with anything else um, other than uh, other than just the Emerald. But the two cards you gained could be trap cards and stuff like that. So like it's it's definitely something that's still like viable um, because the deck just turns into something that's like a resource grab like you you play a good rank 4 toolbox engine and then you're just playing good traps it basically just evolves into a much slower version of what it was in the previous format and that's something that I kind of like about the evolution of how this deck can still function and it can definitely use these like plays to use as be used as resource gather like gatherment for uh, for different like Zodiac Beast hybrids that could actually potentially use these as uh, as good <laughs> influences for uh, the deck essentially if I can speak without just like being dyslexic for some reason but this is just one of the other simple rat combos that you have access to um, unfortunately like I said it doesn't end with uh, with Dryden there are different ones where you summon rat and you can end with Dryden and stuff like that but it basically just like makes you choose whether you want to do the fusion sub play or whether you don't want to do them I still have a couple more combo videos that I'm gonna be putting up I have a couple more combos I'm gonna be showing and I'm keeping them one combo per video so that it's easy for people to digest easy for people to find all that sort of nonsense and that's basically it for that but anyway as always guys thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below any questions comments concerns all that nonsense definitely be sure to like and subscribe for more content and check out the links in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to help support me directly and support the channel, then Patreon is the way to go, as well as it gets you into a monthly raffle, raffle giveaway for a high dollar card, or a good amount of sealed Konami product, whatever the flavor of the month essentially is at that point, as well as you can get possible access to my personal Discord server to chat with me, play with me for games, for videos, all sorts of nonsense. That is one of the reward tiers, so definitely check that out if you're interested. But other than that, if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel, then be sure to check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business. Their shipping and pricing are both very good with what I've experienced thus, like thus far. And all the Zodiac Beast cards that I own and that were in these videos are owned by Second Chance Gaming and they have loaned them out to me because of the sponsorship agreement that I have with them. So they are supporting me a good deal. And so basically, if you want to acquire cards that I, you see in this video if you, or if you just want to acquire other cards in general and you want to help support this channel as well, then definitely be sure to check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, that's it for this video. Let, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Again, I'm curious as to what your thoughts 
thoughts are. But other than that, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought. Again, thanks for your time. And as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video where I show you hopefully some more Zodiac combo plays.